One of the most important rooms in the home to stage is your bathroom. Are you stinking it up? My name is Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com. I'm the author of the book on Vancouver real estate. And today we're talking about home staging for your bathroom. We've been shooting a series of home staging videos. And today we're here with Hans from Mix Interiors, who will be discussing more about staging your bathroom. Welcome to the show again, Hans. Hello, Gary. Okay, so for home staging your bathroom, it's not as simple as just throwing up some uh, towels on the rack and and cleaning up the counters, is it? Mm -hmm. Normally, people will put on towels, but at the same time, what kind of towels or how are you gonna put it and why are you putting there? Yeah. So towels, um, we always suggest like a bright color. Don't, don't put black towels. White, white, white towel would be like the best thing that you can do. Okay. However, uh, and it's cheap to get too if, if you're applying to uh, stage it yourself. Yeah. So towels, normally we would um, either roll them up to like how you see from in the hotel. In the hotels. Oh, yeah. In yeah, hotels. yeah, yeah. So it will create a more spa like feeling when you yeah. walk in the bathroom. So we would normally like uh, roll two, um, two towels and put it on the countertop. And then having um, three layers of um, towels hang on the side too. Oh, okay. Like, it's, what do you mean by three layers? So normally, like, if you if you go to Home Sense or IKEA, buy a set of towels. There's yeah. usually like the, the bigger one for your whole, like the body Low ones, body, and, yeah. and, and then like there's medium and then there's small. So mm -hmm. instead of like separating on them, put them all together and then put them as layers. So it okay. looks more volume and thicker when you hang it there. And then like, I've seen like some developer show homes, they have like the bathtub and then they have like a platter there almost. Oh yes, yes. How, how does that play? You, uh, do, you don't do that in every home, do you? We don't do that in every home. When but do you know when to use it? And... So sometimes, like when uh, when, when it's a, it's a separated um, tub that's not like leaning against the wall, we would usually put that. And when it's in the center of the uh, bathroom, we will, we will put that because that's a really nice. That's the focal point. Yeah, that's the focal oh, okay. point. So you want to make it as as the um, attention of all the buyers coming in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Use that as an asset. So that actually creates a really nice, um, uh, a more lively uh, um, atmosphere when you walk in there. And you, normally we'll also put a book on top of it okay. to make it look, look. Books always make everything look a lot more okay. uh, better, yes. And then what else do you put on that platter? Uh, we would put uh, wine glasses. Okay. So, um, as you can see, people nowadays always drink wine at the same time in a hot tub. Okay, so that, okay, that, that, nice. that looks a lot more realistic. Yeah. Okay. And then so they would, you put the platter, you put a book, and you put a wine glass, and then you'd fold the. You said for the towels, yes. three triple layer. Yeah, triple layer. Okay. Uh -huh. And then what else? Um, so there are um, things that, example, that uh, if there's walls that you can't really like deeply clean it, or there's always like stains on the walls. Yeah, you like the mildew, the mold. And, yes, yeah. yes. And um, normally, if you can't clean it, or you you don't want to hire anyone else to actually like try to scrub it off, we, you can always cover it up with uh, any kind of paintings or, or frames or or. Uh, normally, like we wouldn't put a big painting in the yeah. washroom. We would rather put a, a three or four, four different frames and put like a small gallery wall, yeah, or yeah. even like a consecutive four same paintings to make it um, to either first of all to cover out the stain, but at the same time to make this not just a boring bathroom. Yeah, and then most people like they have their own bar of soap, and then they have mm -hmm. their sponge and a bunch of stuff. Like, what do you do with that then? Yeah, so as the same thing, we always want to do the personalize the things. Yeah. So take away the things that are already used. But if it's a new soap, you can have it, you can, if it's nice shaped, you can always leave it there. And then you can always buy two new soaps on the side. And um, not, not just to make this more complete at the same time, to make this um, look like uh, it's, 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 it's a practical and a useful area that you can put things there to kind of fill in the creativity for the buyers. Okay, okay. And then what do you do with the counter space? Uh, the counter space, um, we would, um, that's a somewhere that you can put something that may 
uh, may, maybe more um, of an uh, accessory there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we would put like a fake flower or maybe we would put something that a diffuser to make the bathroom smells better. Okay, okay. Yes, um, there may also be things that you want to... Um, How about like uh, scented candle or something? A scented candle... Um, or is that like a slippery slope? Uh, yeah, that, that, that may be um, not ideal because um, uh, you wouldn't light that up during the showing. You, even if you leave it there, if you don't light about it, you kind of lose the purpose of candles as well. Okay. So we would use rather replace that as a vase or replace it as a um, uh, those diffuser with... Um, I'm not sure oh, like those scented sticks, sticks, sticks right? Sticks, yes, and then yeah, yeah. yeah we rather replace with that instead of. Yeah. Oh, okay, because that does like look more luxurious. Yes, that kind of thing. And then because I lot, I walk into a lot of homes where they stick their toothbrush on the on the mirror, <laughs> and they have those like. What do you do with that? Do you just tell them to tell the homeowner to remove yes. all that? And yes, it's actually um, interesting that uh, mm. we did a partial project. So as you mentioned, that people who stick on their, their tooth and then uh, their, their toothbrush on the mirror, yeah. and then we actually walk into his washroom and realize that um, everything in there is themed, like it's all about yellow baby ducks. Oh, so they have a yellow, yellow baby duck mask. Yellow baby ducks. <laughs> yeah, and yellow baby duck soap, and yellow baby duck toothbrush. I'm, and I'm assuming they have children? Or it's just for um, I think themselves. It's, I think it's just for is there his wife. I, I would okay. assume. Okay. Baby, yes. baby duck. It's quite a baby, cute baby duck fetish. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay. Awesome. And you walk in the bathtub. The curtain is about baby ducks. Everything uh, is there, and we just walk in like amazed of how. Thumbs up if you like baby ducks. Okay. <laughs> how committed this. Yeah. So of course we unfortunately we have to explain and tell her why baby ducks are not a good thing to stage it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have a tough time there, but finally convince her to take everything off. And then so we put on other neutral um, blindings. And since it was so personal, having all the baby ducks in there, and then the tooth buff was on the mirror. So as you just mentioned, you will want to take them, those all things off. Because first of all, they're used. And then they're your own stuff. We're not saying that it's dirty, but it's something that for it's, it's really personal yeah, yeah, for yeah. the buyers to walk so in. Go, oh, there's somebody brush. else's toothbrush. Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah. why is it brown? Or <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. But I guess ba it's not necessarily the baby ducks because some people have a Hello Kitty branded kitchen. Exactly, Or, yes. or not kitchen, but bathroom or mm -hmm. like Carol 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 Pee or something like that, <laughs> right? Yeah. Or Bordero or something like that, right? Yeah. But it's more like to try to have no specific um, brand exactly. associated to that. So Hans, you know, I go into a lot of uh, the washrooms and they have like these uh, floor mats there. And the homeowner's floor mats, are, like, what do you think about those? So the floor mats, um, they're really practical. You know, when you step out, you always want your wet feet on, on something. But at the same time, it's, it's disgusting that you don't want the buyers to walk in and see like those wet and crunchy yeah. bugs on the bottom. Yeah. So always take them away and make sure the, 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 the floor is all clean and um, there's no uh, seat covers. Um, there's, there's no things that, that may seem practical in the use, but not as um, aesthetic in, in the room. Like rugs and stuff like that. Exactly. Because right? yes. like some people I know in the kitchen, they put like the soft, spongy little thing. And, <laughs> yeah. say, and then I see the same thing in washrooms too. Like in front of uh, where people stand in front of the mirror, they put like the soft, spongy, memory foam kind of... Yeah, mat. yeah. You, you, you say no. No, that's not I, a good no, idea. that's a no, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because especially if it's like white and then there's like some black marks <laughs> yes. in the middle, <laughs> that's not appealing, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's better to just have it like as just a simple tile as or clean. Yes. Okay, great, great. I think uh, that's a lot of information. I hope you found a lot of value in this video. And if you have more questions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for more videos regarding home staging. So I'll see you in the next video. I know you're watching my videos to learn about real estate. You've got real estate questions, I've got real estate answers. So put your questions and comments in the comment section below. I do read all of my comments. And if my team finds a particular comment to be really good, they'll pin it to the top and perhaps we'll make a future video on it. So if you haven't done so already, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. And I strongly recommend to watch my other videos over here.